check in, check in, morning, morning time check. Watch out now. Ah, roll out them tools like today. Yeah, don't think me I go put on the gloves are still, but I use some of them tools like today. I got do a small install. You know, I'm bus. Oh, bus no reach it. But I go on. Start early. See if we can fit up them boxes. <laughs> one of them I gonna use two four pin new tricks, one of them I gonna use one. Uh, one for jump go to one. Yeah, that's the way that's the way the customer wants it. Alright, this now we are going at it. I might use two scar radio eight inch. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like that. Speaker specification in there. Yeah. Quick unboxing me again. Let's see how you scare nice. Send sticker in a box. So one time you hear me across blasting. You don't know where you go. Blasting for send sticker. Two scare radio. Twitter. Um still a series. Three hundred watt, one point seven vice car, four ohm, uh, four ohm. Very easy. And three day the engines. Morning, morning. So I do it. Stick a coming on all of them. So two of that. And two, and two three. I'm gonna pack them over the same. Why are they, man? And um, scar bass, just the CM, CM scar bass speaker going at this. Yeah, I did not make these boxes, people. Let me give my little promotion, kind of box, they nice. Um, Dark Electronics. You don't know, you don't know, ask me if you want contact me or not because I don't know. So, Dark, if you watch my YouTube channel, just tag your information in my comments. Yeah, if you watch my YouTube channel, tag your information in my comments. The yeah, box then nice. And you might can get some work from some people in a YouTube land. So this is it. We have that. And them there. So look on the box then people. I make them one or two. No, only one fault I find with the box is that you do this inside. Mm, yeah, you put Silatex on the back. I don't really believe in it. It's easier for you, but Silatex is easy for flex. I don't like that. Otherwise, than that the box is nice. Good. So, people stay tuned. I'll do some soldering and some wiring. Alright, check in. I try to work fast before the vehicle reach, you know, so. Flick with them already. New chicks up. Two new chicks per one. So this is going to be the main box. And it's going to jump to the one. Fully scare radio. See the people? Scare tweeter. Scare mid. Mm -hmm. So, give you a look. Now, how it's going to look. Pony vehicle. Two of them up and running. Alright, so and then they are boxing them up. The scrap out them they are ready. So right now me are moving on to the base. Base box prepare already, wiring, no tricks up, everything. Oh let me show you one problem I have now. And it has happened to me before in the past. Although I fix it already still. Notice the wire have to run from here, so when I use one notch, the wire have to run from here, so come to over here, so. And it have to go through three partition. Then. If you don't bore the box from before, you're going to have problem. 
Normally with me always do. I'm not bored yes, I'm bored just the amigo board here. And I'm bored way down in the corner, corner, corner. That's me can push the wire from here, so. From behind here, so. Push it down and guide it and make it go through the corner. But it's impossible for me to get one drill bit for go bore down in this right now. So, I have to bore up here, so. Nice corner, yes, so. Then I have to get one long bit. One long bit, yeah. And bore it through this. So that it go through this. And then I bore the side of the match for me to do. One piece of boring. Mm -hmm. Then you have to guide the wire through. And you can't make the hole too small. So you have to plant the cocky up back. Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to use hot glue and seal back the mola. Because then it have to look a bit big. That's the two wire then can go through. So I'm going to use hot glue and seal back the mola. And then I vacuum out the box and them thing there. So, fit me a fit up this now. See him scare out here. Alright. This height now. Scare out your sub. 10 inch. Mm -hmm. Very, very beefy magnet on it, you know. This magnet is very. Magnet about 2 inch. Yeah, magnet about 2 inch. And this is a dual 2 ohms. Dual 2 ohms. So. One of this, I go give you one ohm. Yeah. Why are one of this parallel? And you get one ohm. So put in two of them in another box here. Yeah? I go be half ohm. Ah, half ohm. I think I want smart tree. I go play. Smart tree can play half ohm, but in a good feet. Smart tree play between. One ohm to two ohm. Alright. I'm going to try one wiring pony. Because probably, probably I have to wire them speaker here to four. And then when I wire two of them together, they go back to two. So the amps will play more comfortable. And this one on a whole heap of wattage. A spec sheet. Eh? See there? Eh? Six, 600 RMS. So. This match I gotta send 3000 RMS to this at 2 ohms. Yeah. They gotta send 3000 RMS at 2 ohms to the two of them. Which which the two of them are gonna be 1200 RMS together. So you don't really want if my wire to half ohm, then I gotta get more than 3000 RMS. So I don't want that. So I gotta wire them. I'm gonna show you how I wire them to you know. So stay tuned for that. Alright people. Show on the series wiring. No. Parallel wiring would be live and grounds. Then you send live and grounds on yes, sir. Go to live and grounds on this. Live and grounds. Alright. Series wiring now. You send it live to your live on the main side where well. I don't know the, how comes they make them speak, yeah, so? but sometimes the manufacturer will make the speaker and then we mark one side of the speaker as the main. As the main. So you have the main and then you have the next one. Sometimes they do that. I see Kika do it. I see Harder Pipe do it. Yeah. So I don't know why they do this. So. I don't know. As scar scar are there one big brand. So I don't know why. But maybe any side can work. So then just nobody have to mark it because any side can work. Anyway, so you send live to the live on the main side. And then you get one single wire. And I make them already, you know. And I solder the wire then because it's easy and it's nicer. You can pull up as much as you want and the wire and the raw blood and them things. You put the grounds. Left hand I do this, you know. Left hand. You put the grounds from one side to the next. To the live on the next. So 
is like a a channel yeah channel you know i'll show you a channel don't want to go on the body yeah, you speak yeah all right that good so what you're doing is you're sending live in you see him like we're saying in you run through the kyle way inside and come back to this uh, grounds yeah so I still this ago becomes a live where I come out of the speaker you send it back into the next live over here sir. then you meet up with the grounds yeah sir. so it's a continuation so the wire go in this go to the car come back out through this go yeah sir. so they end up meet so the two car become one so because you turn two two ohms kyle in a one when you see you is two two ohms kyle you don't want to confuse anything you know, but listen when you see you is two two ohms because it's a dual two see it when you see you is it you get four ohms so this become four ohms now because me see you is it if me did parallelly it will then become one ohm because you have two on one side and two on one side when you parallel them you get one you have two pound one side and you have two pound one side and you see with it, you get four. So that's how I'm wire it. I don't no want to confuse them. If anything you wanna understand, write in your comments and me see if I can give you a better explanation. Yeah. So fit we have it up. We have fit him up. Jap you mean and them thing there, yeah? Normal. All right, people, so we reach there now. We make one jump wire. Wire, making wire make me miserable. You know? I'm supposed to know. Making wire miserable because it's boring. But we have one. Box then ready. Both reach. So I'm going to pull out the radar there. This way I use. See it? Plastic tool, you know. You have to use plastic tool to pull out them dash. So. We are work with this for now. Never mm, show now for pull up here. Check in, watch out now, people. My name is Mamba for showing in. Alright, what I gotta do? I look for wire code them for speaker them. Cause this don't use RCA, so I gotta use one iron low impedance. I gotta show you that too. But when I fit up the back, I gotta show you how to pull up here. Never remember, but I gotta show you. So stay tuned, I'm showing you how to pull up here. Um, you have to use special tool for pull up here. I'm showing you tool too. Alright. I'm going to move fast because the weather is so promising. These are the iron low impedance. Now I want all the pipe brand this. I already connect it. What you do? Find a wire code them for the speaker output. And you connect. See it? Because this is our right, right front, left front. Connect them to right front, left front, and the wire code for the, yeah, for the output speaker that will come from the radio. And then now you get RCA on the next end. I tape up my one them all the while because I don't want nothing to pull off. The tool that I use, or the tool I use to pull up the dashboard. Yeah. I pull up them part there because I got run wire. This is a remote wire. I run in one switch. On and off switch for the system itself. I take the remote from where you read the radio remote. So once you read the command the system, I can come on. But you have an option where you can turn off the system and just use the radio normal. So that way I do. I tape, finish tape up them wire here. Then I can tuck in back everything and decide where I'm going to put the preamp. So we're moving on. Alright, check in people. I fit up everything. I'm going to show you how you pull now. Use this. And you pull. From here, so you pick down at them corner here. Up. Draw back this down in a L. Squeeze the button and take off this over it. Button have to squeeze for you to take off this from over it. You don't have to plug off the button, the start button. If you don't have to plug off certain things in them new vehicle, don't plug them off. After you pick out that, you pick out this. Reason being, you don't really have to pick out this, you know. But when you pick out this and move back this, you get more space to take out this. Then you pull out this. After you pull out this, you pick out this from under. You have, you have one clip right or so, and one clip right or so. 
So you, you pick it from them side, you go up, and then you pick out it, pick out it. After that, you don't trouble this part. This part will trick you because you have two clips only inside them. And when you pull this, it could then easy to jump up. Sometimes then we all jump up before you start. One screw then and miggle behind here so. So you have to pick out this first. And this hard to pick out. You have to get one thin thin tool. I never even did use this because this never thin enough. See it? I did use let me see if I can find it. Me did use this. Cause this well thin. So I use this and start picking first. And when this going out, I use this after and pick out it. After you get out this, because you have to pick it from the top, it come forward. So you pick out it forward, one screw there behind this, you pull the one screw there, and then four screw all in the radio, you take out the radio. Alright, so that's how I do that. So I never get forgiven you know, in a full detail, but as I tell you, the weather is not so normal, I'm going to hurry up and do it, time against me. Alright, I install the preamp under this one. Yeah, so I install the preamp this one, I install one switch for the system, I'm showing you that already. In here, so I install the BS remote. Yeah, so I fit, start fit up back this already. I have yes to fit up back. I run all of my RCA, them three set. I run three pair RCA plus my remote wire on the side of the vehicle. I have to run my current wire on the next side. I'm just showing you that. So, I fit up this for me. I can put on back this. Can I try to get rid of some things? Get them out of the way. Because the weather condition look on way. As I tell you, no, you know, I'm going to catch me and do this. So I'm going to put in that. Alright. Alright people, the reason why you want the wire along, see it? You want it long because you want to can put him back some pan in the roof. I'm still not finished because them two hole yeah, and new chicks will go in at them. Yeah, me make sure using new chicks bit and bore because I want him to know that new chicks will go in. Eh. So I'm gonna get them there and then I'm gonna carry back and me do it. I'm not giving you the mid range yet, I talk to you. Alright, and there's some. This is the Amstrak people. 
That is the answer. Me I wonder if this one turn off. Let oh, me turn off the base gun. So how oh, this a base remote work so? Base remote supposed to can turn off. This can turn off, but the base remote can't turn off. Something alright. Well, maybe a boss, maybe a boss design it away. Eh? But it doesn't matter. It a go on. It a go on. Yeah, it sounds it sound good. Well loud. That me can't tell. In like, in ready for take it and go on. In ready for take it and go on with it. One more satisfied customer. Yeah. One more satisfied customer. Music in my play right now. You know. I don't really want to catch the music. You know. Quick and fast, people. No rest for the wicked. Look like my wicked. Come in and I get no rest. Alright, that boss ya. Yeah? Boss ya. Yeah? We never did put no crossover at night. You know, I know if you remember that little install yeah? Preamp. It come with the radio there. But the preamp me install. I me install two amps on the seat. Two amps on the seat. Bass box there, there so. With the speaker them I play down to the ground. One tap box there on there so. And one there, yes sir. I him put on them gula, you know, and I put them on, you know. But I me tell him to put them on. To protect the speaker then. So you can get one crossover. I'm going to install a crossover. But I'm not saying a jack wire for your crossover. So you're not buying a jack wire for your crossover. What am I going with? Alright, people. The jack wire them there. Jack wire them there. So, I'm going to attack this. Now I put on the base remote yet. Mm -mm. I'm going to put on the crossover first. That's the most important thing. I go get one cloth because I have to wipe out some of them dirt because I probably have to go lie down or I have to go pull out the seat again. I don't really want to pull out the seat so I go try to see if I can lie down and do it. Mm -hmm. Alright, bang bang bang. Bus gone people. Bus gone home. Put in the crossover, send him home. A simple simple install that still. I just, just plug off some jack wire. Connect live remote and grounds and, and set up here and tune up here and game. Reason why I never video after me put in is because every time if I play music with the bus there, he might use his phone and he might play some song off of YouTube where copyright are black. So I can't video the bus there. I can't video it. Because I don't like me can connect my phone to it and play music and video at the same time. So it can it confuse him with the bus there. But it a play alright, you want one preamp, I don't like the preamp, I want all the pipe preamp in it, and I don't like the other pipe preamp. It, it not tune the sound nice. So I tell him to get one clarion and get rid of the other pipe one. Mm -hmm. But otherwise than that, everything good, normal. Relaxing time for me, I know, I got all our beard. So watch I know, press the button, subscribe, notification, share, like, anything you want to do. Do it. I'm out.